Monitor lizards are among the most diverse and adaptable reptiles on Earth, thriving in habitats ranging from scorching deserts to dense rainforests. But within this remarkable group, one species reigns supreme in size and notoriety, the Komodo dragon. Often called the last living dinosaur, the Komodo dragon is a predator of almost mythical proportions. Yet, despite its fame, many people don't realize that this giant is just one member of the monitor lizard family. So, what makes the Komodo dragon so special, and how does it compare to its smaller and more widespread relatives? In this video, we'll uncover the key differences between monitor lizards and Komodo dragons. Let's start with taxonomy. Komodo dragons, scientifically known as Varanus komodoensis, belong to the Varanus genus, which includes all monitor lizards. This genus consists of over 80 species, ranging from the tiny, short-tailed pygmy monitor to the massive Komodo dragon. While Komodo dragons are the largest, they are just one of many fascinating members of this diverse group. Monitor lizards are part of Varinidae, which evolved millions of years ago. They are closely related to other reptiles like snakes, sharing similar features such as a forked tongue. Komodo dragons represent an evolutionary success story, thriving in their isolated environment. One of the most striking differences between Komodo dragons and other monitor lizards is their size. Komodo dragons are the giants of the group, growing up to 3 meters or 10 feet long and weighing over 70 kilograms or 150 pounds. Their powerful build, strong legs and muscular tails not only give them an imposing appearance but also make them highly effective predators. These reptiles have thick, rough skin that protects them from injuries during fights or while hunting, and their serrated teeth can easily slice through flesh, making them a force to be reckoned with in their ecosystem. In comparison, most other monitor lizards are significantly smaller. The savannah monitor, for instance, usually grows to about 1 meter or 3 feet in length and weighs just a few kilograms. Some species, like the pygmy monitor, barely exceed 25 centimeters or 10 inches, making them tiny in comparison to their giant relative. However, even smaller monitor lizards maintain a similar body structure elongated bodies, sharp claws for digging and climbing, and long tails that aid in balance and defense. Interestingly, some species, like the water monitor, can grow up to 2.5 meters or 8 feet long, rivaling smaller Komodo dragons in length. However, these larger monitors are typically more slender and weigh much less. The sheer bulk and strength of Komodo dragons sets them apart, allowing them to tackle prey that most other monitors could never manage. This massive size has evolved partly due to a phenomenon known as island gigantism, where species isolated on islands grow larger over time due to reduced competition and predation. Another striking difference between Komodo dragons and other monitor lizards is the scope and diversity of their geographical ranges. Komodo dragons are restricted to a small cluster of Indonesian islands called Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and a few nearby islets. In contrast, monitor lizards as a group are found across a much broader and more varied geographical range, spanning multiple continents and climates. They are distributed widely across Africa, Asia, and Oceania, with some species thriving in tropical rainforests, such as the emerald tree monitor, and others adapting to arid deserts like the sand monitor. The Nile monitor, one of the most widespread species, inhabits large parts of sub-Saharan Africa and is known for its adaptability to both aquatic and terrestrial environments. Similarly, the water monitor, native to Southeast Asia, can be found in urban areas, rural wetlands, and even near human settlements, showcasing the versatility of these reptiles. Australia is home to several unique monitor species, such as the parenti, the largest lizard on the continent. These Australian monitors have evolved to survive in some of the harshest environments on Earth, including vast deserts and dry grasslands. Interestingly, some monitor species have even expanded their range due to human activity. For example, the Nile monitor has been introduced to parts of Florida in the United States, where it has become an invasive species. 
This contrasts sharply with the Komodo dragon, whose limited distribution makes it one of the most geographically restricted reptiles in the world. When it comes to diet and hunting, Komodo dragons stand out as some of the most formidable predators in the reptile world. As apex predators, they can take down large animals such as deer, wild boar, and even water buffalo. Their hunting strategy is both brutal and efficient. They use their powerful legs and tails to ambush prey, delivering a venomous bite with serrated teeth that tear through flesh. The venom, which contains toxins that lower blood pressure and prevent blood clotting, ensures that their prey quickly succumbs to shock and blood loss. Often, a Komodo dragon will follow its injured victim for hours or even days, waiting for it to weaken and collapse before consuming it. Unlike many predators that only hunt live prey, Komodo dragons are opportunistic feeders, readily scavenging on carrion. Their acute sense of smell, which can detect a rotting carcass from several kilometers away, makes them highly effective scavengers. In fact, a single Komodo dragon can consume up to 80% of its body weight in one meal, thanks to their flexible jaws and expandable stomachs. In contrast, monitor lizards display a much wider range of dietary habits due to their diversity in size and habitat. Smaller species, like the emerald tree monitor, primarily feed on insects, bird eggs, and small mammals, relying on their agility and sharp vision to hunt in trees. Larger monitors, such as the water monitor and Nile monitor, have diets that include fish, amphibians, and small reptiles. These species often hunt near water, using their swimming skills to catch prey. Some monitor lizards, like the Parenti of Australia, are active hunters who chase down their prey over long distances, using speed and endurance to their advantage. Others, such as the black-throated monitor, rely more on ambush tactics and opportunistic scavenging. Recent research has revealed that both Komodo dragons and various monitor lizard species possess venom glands located in their lower jaws, challenging the earlier belief that their bites were harmful solely due to bacterial infection. The venom of these reptiles contains a complex mix of bioactive proteins and enzymes that play crucial roles in subduing prey. In Komodo dragons, the venom includes toxins such as procoagulants, which promote blood clotting, leading to rapid blood loss, and hypotensive agents that lower blood pressure, causing shock in the prey. Additionally, proteases present in the venom break down muscle tissue, resulting in paralysis. This combination of effects ensures that the prey is quickly immobilized and incapacitated, facilitating the dragon's hunting strategy. Monitor lizards, encompassing a diverse range of species, exhibit variation in venom composition, corresponding to their ecological niches. Many species produce venom with anticoagulant properties, disrupting blood clotting through fibrinogen elysis and inhibition of platelet aggregation. Arboreal species, such as tree monitors, possess particularly potent fibrinogenolytic venom, causing wounds from their bites to bleed more profusely than typical lacerations. The venom delivery mechanism in these lizards differs from that of snakes. Komodo dragons, for instance, utilize a specialized bite and pull motion that allows venom to seep into the wound during a sustained attack, rather than injecting it forcefully. This method, combined with their serrated teeth and powerful jaws, makes their bites particularly effective. Komodo dragons exhibit unique social behaviors that set them apart from most other reptiles, particularly during feeding. These apex predators establish a clear dominance hierarchy when scavenging or hunting, with the largest and most dominant individuals feeding first. This hierarchical system is rare among reptiles and highlights a level of social interaction not commonly associated with cold-blooded animals. During feeding, smaller dragons often wait their turn or risk being attacked by larger, more dominant individuals. This dynamic allows for an organized division of resources within their communities. In contrast, most monitor lizards are solitary creatures. They hunt, live, and roam alone, coming together only during the breeding season or for occasional territorial disputes. For instance, 
Male monitor lizards may engage in wrestling matches to establish dominance or secure mating rights, but these interactions are brief and lack the complex social structures observed in Komodo dragons. Some exceptions to this solitary nature exist, such as water monitors, which are occasionally seen in loosely organized groups in areas with abundant food sources. However, these gatherings are more opportunistic than structured, driven by the availability of resources rather than social bonds. Komodo dragons also exhibit a surprising degree of intelligence in their interactions. They can recognize other individuals and may even adjust their behavior based on previous encounters. Komodo dragons are endangered, primarily due to their limited range on a few Indonesian islands. Conservation efforts focus on protecting their habitats, such as in Komodo National Park, and regulating tourism to reduce human impact. In contrast, the conservation status of monitor lizards varies widely. Common species like the Nile monitor thrive in diverse environments and even invasive ranges, while rarer species such as tree monitors face threats from habitat destruction and illegal trade. Conservation strategies include habitat protection and anti-poaching measures to preserve these diverse reptiles and their ecosystems. So, what's the difference between monitor lizards and Komodo dragons? While they share many traits, the Komodo dragon stands out for its massive size, apex predator status, and unique behaviors. Yet, it's important to remember that all monitor lizards are incredible creatures, each adapted to thrive in their environment. Whether it's the mighty Komodo dragon or a tiny tree monitor, these reptiles never fail to impress. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.